What's up everybody? We are out here with the EV bus. It's an EV Volkswagen bus. Volkswagen bus is finally back as a EV. And it's one of the awesome, what I really love is that uh, one of the first EV vans and camper vans of a kind, which I didn't even know this was like real deal. I think this is probably like a prototype. I don't know, but let's take a look. Let's get out here. I haven't took a look. I was trying to wait for the video camera. So come on over here. Let's take a look at this awesome thing. All right, let's go. So this is the EV buzz everybody i can't really believe that i'm actually here today i'm over here at uh south by southwest it's air out here in austin texas and uh i can't believe they have a prototype really out here i mean is this a prototype is it open it's li it's literally locked up of course but it's crazy being looking there I'll, I'll let you guys peek in the window but just let's walk around the vehicle just to look at it i mean it's actually Smaller than I was hoping to be. It's actually a lot smaller than I was hoping it'd be. I mean, it's, it's still bigger than my minivan, though. This is my minivan over here. Um, but yeah, but it's definitely, definitely, uh, you know, I mean, but one thing I don't like about it is it doesn't scream Volkswagen. But it, you know, it's more like a minivan, which is cool. You know, if you're into like minivans, I mean, I think a more, lot more, a lot of people are into the minivan. Let's like, keep going around, around. Uh, so, oh yeah, this is an interesting little place for a charging port. I'm glad it's on the back. A lot of times, the EV manufacturer put the charging port anywhere they want because they can, and so. But then they create a problem for charging structure because. You know, the, the, the charging a copper is expensive, a length of copper is, is expensive, and so it's hard to get the charger port in in crazy places. But it's in the back. But I think the Tesla charger is on that side of the vehicle, so that might be cause a problem. You know, they can't. I mean, I wish they could just agree on like the charger location. Okay. But yeah, um. But yeah, I mean, the mirrors are nice and big. It doesn't have any cameras. <coughs> which is really interesting for an electric vehicle. It doesn't have any cameras. I have these sensors though. You have these sensors down here. So they have, uh, there's no cameras. And no, that, that was, so it doesn't look like there are any cameras. I don't know if this is a production vehicle or like, like what I say, it's a uh, tradition. But the video, the, the ones I see on the internet. Uh, so let me let me grab the camera so I can show you guys inside. So inside, they used to have like a yoke, right? And this one is a clearly, a, uh, I guess it's not a, a full steering wheel because it's flat on the bottom and it's flattish on top. So it's not a you know puffly traditional steering wheel like most uh cars it does have like the tesla style like screen right there but with added buttons of course but a lot of people don't like tesla because it doesn't have buttons and the, you know and people like having some type of tactile thing to be able to push while they're driving to just make it easier to do so that things in a vehicle um, which is always nice and not have to rely on completely on the screen But some people really like having everything on the screen, but you know um, The back seat is pretty good um, But it's, you know, it's only a five seat vehicle. So we really in all in all like in all like um Tense of purpose, this is just like a boxy Model 3, um, you know, and the trunk space is really not that big, so literally, they could have they literally could have made this a little bit bigger. I mean, I wonder if they have a front trunk, you know, who knows if they hit this or not. I mean, but they, it's a good attempt, 
I definitely think they should have made it a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. But I guess it's good. It's good as kind of compact. Um. All right. Well. But yeah, it doesn't scream Volkswagen bus. Do you do you feel like this a uh, Volkswagen bus? No, it's, but it's a cutie patootie. It's cute, cute. You think it's cute? Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's you know, grab the phone again. Let's go check out the lease. Uh, the other offering. Yeah. Let's check out the other offering that Volkswagen have. Um, I don't even know the name of it. Volkswagen wagon. Okay, this is a Volkswagen wagon, which is, you know, in, com in a competition with the Model 3, which is, you know, Tesla is the most best selling vehicle as of right now. And so this is a crossover type sedan type vehicle but comparable to like the Model 3. It looks small. Of it, which might be like you know, depending on who you are, it may be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know what the range or anything like that. I'm just looking at the looks of it. Um, the charge point is at a similar location as the VW bus. So at least they, at least they agree on where to put the charging bus within the same vehicle family, which is. Still market sell from the uh, market three and um, or the model Y and trying to produce, you know, a you know a sedan a sedan hatchback, you know, crossover vehicle without really much thought other than let's make it look kind of unique in our own fashion, but like put our own twist on it. But I don't know. I don't really know. I really think the Volkswagen team could have done a little bit better. I really think they could have done was they trying to do electric vehicles. But, you know, again, if this is a new vehicle, and of course they can't make it look like an older, you know, van. Uh, but, yeah. Um, Alright, well. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What do you, what do you think, Michelle? Any thoughts? How about these vehicles? I don't know. This one looks cute. You like the van? Yeah. You think it's as as nice as it as what do you think think about it other than this is a Volkswagen van. Beat van. Have uh, you seen a Volkswagen bus? No, never. You know they like the you know the Volkswagen buses that you see on TV where like the hippies used to drive? I'm not sure. I know about the Scooby-Doo man. I'm just trying to, what I say, steal the thunder of a bygone era. But this is this is no, this is no real van. This is a minivan. Yeah, this is no VW bus. Yeah. This is a minivan. But it looks cool. Looks pretty. I know. I'm just sad that they that that the VW bus is not coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They went for this instead of doing like the real bus. Yeah. Cool. What do you think? I, I'm I'm curious. It's a very a very new um, concept uh, retro of the old original VW van, right? I I don't know. Yeah. So you so a good retro is, is That's good. What it looks like. I don't know. You tell me about it. Look very efficient because it looks small, right? But the thing about electric vehicles, there's ten thousand pounds worth of battery under, uh, underneath of it, right? Okay. So it's like it doesn't really matter the actual 
the, the perception of size doesn't really matter as much on an electric vehicle as it does like on a gas car. Because like you got the most of the mass of the vehicle is in the batteries. And the batteries are kind of hitting underneath on, on, on the skateboard of the vehicle. So you got, you know, this is a, you know, a five to 10,000 pound vehicle just in the way of the batteries. Okay. And, and so it's like, they could definitely afford to make it bigger. I see what you're saying. They could definitely afford to make it bigger and not really give up much of the decline of in the efficiency. The economy, because they were already, I see they, it's saying. already yeah. such a heavy vehicle. Yeah. I mean. I'm going to go f- meet my friend, but yeah, no, I would agree with you. Um, I mean, we'll but. Maybe they I, a better I, one someday. I don't know. They, I think they're just trying to keep, they, they're not really trying too hard with electric vehicles. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. They're still, they still trying to sell the gas cars. Yeah. That's my thing. They could have designed it better.